uh, schizoid woman. Schizoid. <laughs> For some stupid reason, after that, I have, I know about five psychologists, two, two or three, and two were ex-boyfriends, and took me three psychologists to get out of that, or mess, whatever. Schizoid woman. In Lower East Side, she can dance the rumba and eat Chinese food in Chinatown. With sushi as appetizer, Italian loony noodles as a main course, and have Haggadahs for dessert. She can wear flowers in her hair given by men at Halloween parties and be a tourist in a new city. She can see friends and catch up with the latest news, follow the moon cycles, and return to Earth in one piece. Open fires with anger and wear the latest fashions. A red dress to be a harlot and pigtails with blue jeans is shooing men in a line. She can drink once and dance the rock and roll like her partner to those were the times when things were all fine. In all respect, she is every part a woman who wants to do the boogaloo and find the answers in talking computers. Have women as companions and men as lovers to detain the loneliness. She'll rock in her sleep the motions of sea waves, find sea urchins that look like chrysanthemums, and keep the dry petals in small jars. Okay. I mean, you know, after this long, big journey, I'm in Brooklyn, and um, and then there's this sort of revengeful psychologist <laughs> who need to uh, evict me again. But during the time I was living there, I called this exile, October 12, 2013, the latest almost homelessness. And in quotes, for James A. Emanuel, June 15, 1921 to September 27, 2013. Uh, writes about American racism in France. So I guess that's the water, you know, from playing during that time. <clears throat> Exiled Park Slope, where I took my pilgrimage from Lower East Side. Dave Henderson, a writer of um, uh, oh shit. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, says, it's the suburbs of Manhattan. I'll give you this job if you can get me to live in your neighborhood, says the interviewer. I need a bed and breakfast in Park Slope with my new white boyfriend says the Filipina, no, I moved here so I can get a professional job, so I can be away from my childhood slums, so I can watch yuppie children play in Prospect Park, so I can paint flowers and hug a tree, maybe just maybe mow a lawn and smell fresh cut grass. Instead of chain smoking, waiting for him to switch his love from her love in the Gowanus Canal. 